I'm getting ready to plant 100 um, blueberry bushes, one and a half year old blueberry bushes that I picked up from DeMeo Fruit Farms. And um, so I'm going to be growing them out for the next year and a half, two years in the spot until they get big enough to transplant um, and, and probably put them in their final home then. So it's a lot easier to put it in a bed than it is to um, try to pot these up, 100 different plants up in, in pots. So this is the area it's going to be. Next I'll show you what it is when the raised bed's put in. Okay, so now I have the raised bed in place. Believe it or not, this thing's actually level. It doesn't look like it, but I put a level on it and it actually is. So it's 12 feet by 4 feet, which is, you know, about a meter and a third by 4 meters. Okay, next is the challenge of um, getting peat moss to actually absorb some water. So what I found is if you just poke a hole in the bag and just flood the bag for five or ten minutes, you'll get at least half of it hydrated with water. And then from there, just cut it open and mix it in. So, you know, we're almost halfway there. I know the dirt's not level, but it's about halfway there. I'm going to add some peat moss, and depending on where it's at, I might add the fourth one and then add some dirt, you know. So it's got to be almost 50% peat moss. Okay, so I have the bed in, and I have this mixed up. It's about 50%, 30 or 40, 50% peat moss, 50% native uh, compost, leaf compost. So what I'm going to do is, in the middle here, for like a foot in each direction, I'm going to have no biochar. And then as I move out, I'm going to have more and more biochar. I don't know what percentage is going to be. I don't know how to do the math. I just know I'm going to put it lighter here and heavy at the ends. And then on the ones at the end, I'm going to actually put some biochar in the holes themselves. So maybe it'll be 10 or 15%. I don't know. I have 100 plants, so I, you know, I got to try to get this done. Okay, so you can definitely see distinct lines of where I started to change the biochar. So this strip in the middle here is nothing. And then these next strips over here, minus the fact that I threw some dirt on it by accident. This is one half cubic foot of um, biochar mixed with worm casting, so it's, it's diluted by half. And you can see over here, at the ends, it's pure biochar that's been inoculated with liquids, liquids containing bacteria the entire time. So the concentration of the biochar at the ends is twice as much as the ones in the middle. And uh, I decided I'm not going to actually add it to the holes. So I'm showing you this now because I'm going to add some azomite so it's going to throw off the color. So you can kind of see the color variations. And I added some dirt last night. And you can still see there's a little bit of biochar on top. I did throw one more scoop at the end here on top and kind of mixed it in with my hands. So this is this is what uh, 100 uh, blueberry bushes from DeMeo Fruit Farms. These are one and a half year old um, bushes. I got these for $285 delivered. Um, so I plan on growing these out for the next two to three years um, in, in this spot, unless I get really big over the next year. And then I'm not really sure what to do with them. I have room for probably 40. I don't know. But, you know, you can buy 40, sell 60, and make up for all your money than you can to try to, to buy, you know, 40 blueberry bushes. You'll still, you'll, you'll pay for all your expenses and you'll have money to spare. But this is the, the blueberry bush um, patch. Over here on the left, we have um, blue crop, which I think is um, early season. And then the other half is all Duke variety. So there's two different varieties. There's an early season and a mid season.